Hi everyone, this is Pratish, founder of Proxlight, and welcome to a brand new series. So this is the first game development series in this whole channel. So we are starting this game development series with a very simple game. That is, we will be creating a pong game inside this tutorial using the Ursina engine. Now this is the brand new engine that has been published on Python, and it is quite simple to use. And even though it is pretty much easy. Now I'll be teaching you how to use that in from scratch and we will be also trying to develop a complete complex game at the end of this series. So this series consists of five top main topics or main videos which we will be covering on and we will be getting through them with some projects and with some cool game. So let's take a look at the some of the basic thing about Ursina engine. As you can see here we have the Ursina engine opened and it is over here as you can see the website and you can create any kind of game it may be 2d 3d application visualization everything you can create it using it and this looks quite easy you can see it is powered by python so just easy syntax you have to just uh, import it by using the from ursina import all very simple and then we have to create a app for instance and we can do it by the ursina method and then we can create a cube so to create a cube it is very easy you have to create an entity and then change the model of the name of the entity to cube so it is quite simple you can change even the collision property over there so it's quite easy i will be showing you in a minute so you can create any kind of here you can just visit this whole website and you can even download this for your system and i will be teaching you how to download it using pip also now this is great this is great so now for example, if you want to download the source code and assets file of whole series then of each video then you can visit our store. Let me show you. So here is our store you can visit just like this. So you can create a pong game using the python and it is quite simple and easy to use. And even though you can add and download this over here. So you will get a complete source code file over here. So for each game we are giving the link in the description you can download the source code over from our website. So it is quite easy. So let's start installing the dependencies for the game development of this Pong game. Let's begin. Installing Ursina engine is very simple. You just have to type pip install Ursina on your terminal and then hit enter. So it will take you some time but I will be showing you which game we will be creating in this tutorial. So we will be creating a very basic Pong game. So let me show you the demo. As you can see here we have the Pong game. Now you just have to open it. So let's open it up. So as you can see here is the demo. You can run the game or play this game using your arrow key and even though WSD and a it is quite simple and you have two player over here the topmost player will play using the key arrows and the downwards player will play using w s d and a keyboard so it is quite simple we have to make two controls over here so that will be great so let's start basically creating this game so here i am inside my code editor so let's start creating the game so before creating we have to just import the ursina engine so what I'm going to doing is uh, from Ursina import everything so you can use a star over here so that to import every single thing from the Ursina library. Now this is this is quite simple and the next step we are going to be doing is creating an app. So let me show you first. So first of all this app variable will create it will store the Ursina method over in it. So Ursina is basically will create a window so that it is like a frame for our game. So it is quite simple and for the window color we will be choosing like a olive green color so that will be great so olive color stand for like green color dipish green color you can see over here at the game so you can see there we can use the color dot olive over here to set the color and we will be setting it to like window dot color so basically the variable window have a color of a olive green that is great now when we have created a window now we have to create a grid and a playing area for example we have to create a table for this particular thing so we have to create a grid or table so in the table variable we will be storing some entity like a cube so for example the cube should be like of a playing area where the player should play the game 
So for example, this cube should be of like have a dimension of 2, 1, 3 in the x, y, z axis respectively and have a rotation of 90, 0 and 0 in the x, y, z direction respectively. Now I will be changing the color of this particular table to like a black one as you can see here we have a given the black color and now the model is cube as I have already to told you. So as you can see this will create a very basic cube in the game area or in the grid line. So here is the example as you can see it looks quite smooth and great. Now the next step is to create a ball so that we have to create characters. Now we have two characters in this particular game. The first one is the ball and the second one are the sliders or two rectangles which are at the up topmost and the bottom most layer. So first of all we will be creating a ball and in the ball variable I will be choosing an entity of a sphere. So as you can see everything is a, we are choosing is a 3D. So at the end we will be using an orthographic value to convert these 3D objects into 2D one. We can do it by the camera method so I will be teaching you how to do that. Now as you can see here we have created ball and now we have created a sphere over here and you can change the color whatever you want it is like a bluish color over here for this particular thing and I have set its position in Z axis to minus 1 and the scale to 0.1 and the collider should be box so now what this means is that we have a collision over the box for example suppose there is a space empty space in the game engine and you can see in our area there are certain reasons where the ball should collide with so these area contains the box area. So for example, the ball have a collider property that whenever it touches the rectangle, then it will just collide with it and bounce back with it. So this is basic function you can achieve by using the collider property. So we can choose a box over here. It is quite simple. All right. Now we have to create two players. That is basically two rectangles. But first we have to create a cube because we are creating this particular thing into a 3d view then we will be converting into a 2d one so it is quite simple now first of all we have player one over here so i will be creating an entity so entity basically stands as you can see over here we have created several entity so you will get a basic knowledge that entity will basically create some object in the 3d space so that is quite simple now the model name is cube so we will be creating a cube inside it now the color should be same that is of the ball a bluish one and now we have to scale it like 0 0.6, 0 0.1 and 1 in the x, y, z axis respectively. Now we can position it on 0, minus 1.4 and minus 1 on x, y, z position respectively. And now we will also add a collider property to it of the box because we don't want our player to go outside a region or beyond the region. The region is the grid one or table one as you can see over here. So we have created a table over here. So the player should not get out of it. So this is the very basic collider property that we will be achieving. All right, let's create player two. So basically uh, player 2 is the duplicate of player 1. I don't have to recreate whole thing again. So I have done is basically here is a duplicate the player 1 and there is a very basic kind of a modification over here that we want to player our player 2 in a y axis below the player 1 which should be like 1.4 which is a float value as you can see over here. So this is the very basic uh, changes we have done so we don't have to copy it again and paste it again you can use the duplicate method and add a new variable to it or a new function to it that is quite simple now we can change the speed on x and y coordinate to like 0.5 as you can see over here that it can move on x and y coordinate on 0.5 only not so much speed because if you give it a speed of like 2 or 3 then it will easily catch the ball so we don't want that we want to make this uh, game pretty much difficult for the players so we will be choosing x and y coordinate to like 0.5 it is quite simple and now so after every single moment it will change speed so we want to update the ball with the time so basically we want to increase its speed and also it should collide with the two players and then we have a game right down there so it is quite simple to achieve we will be creating an update function over here and we will be defining it and I will be explaining you this whole code over here so we have created a global variable over here that is speed x and speed y now the player one when we press the key D the it will just move 
toward towards the x axis and y axis so this is quite simple so suppose if i press d then it will move to right a then left w means to like w s d all these are not included but a and d are included in this particular thing so basically two arrows are included over here like right one and left one so i have just held key you can use the held key over here and then add your key over here so that when this key is pressed at that time it will use at that time it will just uh, add or subtract the speed of the player or the axis of the player for example let's say suppose if you want to move a player in the x coordinate then we can add plus equals to d which means that when we place d on the keyboard then the player will move towards x axis what this basically means that the value of the x axis should be incremented by some value or it should be increased by some value so we are adding a plus over here now if the player holds a then it will move towards left which means we have to decrease the x axis over here so we are basically decreasing the value so that the player should move in negative x direction similar thing goes for the second player which should be moved with the right and left arrow key so we can increment and then decrease the values using the plus and minus sign respectively now we can even though speed up the ball as you can see in x and y coordinate so after dt time so for example we have divided the time into a small segments and each small segment is called dt and the integration of the whole time should give us the total time interval of the game but each small time will give a dt which is an instantaneous time and for that instantaneous time we have to increase the speed by instantaneous values so we can do it or we can achieve it by using the incrementing the value of the ball in x and y coordinate for example plus equals to which means that the speed of the ball should increase in the x direction as well as the ball speed should be increased in y direction so we are not decreasing the value so at a small interval of time or at a dt interval of time it will basically increase its value so it is quite simple so now as the value of the ball should more than 0.9 or more than 1.4 in both x and y coordinate then it will turn the value towards 0 and now we have to add a hit function over here let me show you that if the ball intersect or hit the players then it will return to it return to its original position or it will basically collide with them and also it will multiply its speed by 1.1 which means that suddenly it will increase its speed and then again it will come to a normal position that we have done over here so it is quite simple as you can see all right so as you can see we have created the whole game in a 3d perspective but we want to convert it in a 2d one because in 3d we cannot see the whole thing or whole dimension correctly and we cannot play even the game so what we will be doing is we will be using the orthographic method so orthographic basically means converting 3d object into a 2d one by using the direction of orthogonal view we will be viewing that particular 3d object from an orthogonal view so that the camera should look it from the orthogonal view so that the, it converts the 3d object into a 2d one and we will be turning this to true which is a boolean value so that we can achieve the 3d modification into 2d one so it is quite simple right now and also we will be focusing the object so i will be changing the focal length or curvature of the camera to 4 so that it will focus on the both balls and the players so it is quite simple now we can run this uh, app using app.run method so finally you have to achieve this so you just have to just uh, write this one app.run then it will run your application so this was it guys it is a quick and quite simple game you can create using ursina engine and it is quite simple to use as you can see over here it is just like a uh, barely 49 lines of code so we were using pi game earlier but it will take you like 100 line of code to create a simple game like this one a pong game but using this one you can create it very simply and very easily even though so now you can run this game and play it with your friends and this was it guys it was very simple to create and i have taught you every single thing every single aspect that has come into this whole platform so this is the way we are going to learn the whole ursina engine so basically what we will be doing is we will be taking some practical projects and we will be learning them like this and it is quite simple for you even though and you can easily learn from scratch
So this was it guys and as you can see we have created a Pong game inside Python using our Sina engine. In the next episode we will be creating a snake game using the Sina engine and we will be taking our complexity to the next level and I will be teaching you some cool projects even though. So I hope this tutorial was really helpful and if it was helpful then consider subscribing. Hit that like button below. I will meet you in another tutorial. Until then, keep coding.